Central to the collective identity and national imagination is the symbol of a small, agile commando unit. In Sherry Ortner's terms, one might understand this image as a key symbol in Israeli society. More recently, however, with the rapid growth of the high-tech industry, this symbol is being replaced, or more accurately, transformed, as the new warriors are those of high-tech battling in a global marketplace and helping to put Israel on the map. During the last 20 years in Israel, the high-tech industry has grown exponentially, now accounting for nearly half of all Israeli exports. To provide an even better sense of the size of the industry, there are more high-tech startup companies in Israel than any other place in the world, other than the United States, and more startup companies relative to the size of its population than any other place in the world. To locate the links between high-tech and the military, one does not need to look far to find stories of successful high-tech companies that have been started by army buddies. One of the most famous is of two friends in military intelligence who started a software security company called Checkpoint that at one point became the highest traded company on the NASDAQ. The word Checkpoint itself indexes not only software security, but also the checkpoints along Israel's borders. In another well-known story that has become part of the national narrative, four army buddies started the online chat program called ICQ, which was purchased in 1998 by America Online for $287 million. This story became ingrained in the national imagination and inspired a television show called Masood Arim, or We Are Set. These shifts in the national narratives are also mashed into everyday mundane and routine literate practices in the high-tech industry. Turning to the website of the web design company NetWorld, which designs websites and online applications for the high-tech industry, one can see the ways that the military is blended into the text and image. Perhaps most notable on this site is a picture of a commando unit as the image used for a small startup team. In this case, the instruments of power have been replaced with a megaphone, a pencil, and a wrench. One furthermore finds the military blended into the language itself, with words such as megayes, which means to draft. In this case, megayes refers to the recruitment of employees, but the term also refers to the recruitment or drafting of soldiers in the military. One can find further references to the military in the Hebrew word gibush, used three times in the text. The word itself means unification or crystallization and describes the process of group bonding. Similar to the chemical pro bonding process in crystallization, gibush refers to the formation of a concrete, durable bond or cementing and continual reinforcement of relationships. Widely deployed in the military, one can see this language deployed on the website itself, with references to a cohesive startup team and crystallized group of experts. In this manner, we can begin to glimpse the ways that the military shapes and is shaped by workplace practices. In the sections that follow, I wish to examine the ways that Gibush is manifested in everyday mundane and routine literate practices across another context, the writing classroom.